So what do you need? Well, you're given a set of tools with your machine. Here we go. We've got our oil, our screwdrivers. Your screwdrivers might look like that. They might look like that. You get a set of needles and you get a brush. So that will help you keep your machine working perfectly for you. What else do you need? As well as those, I prefer to use a bigger brush. The bigger brush here has a twirly bit at one end and it's got a long bristly end on that side. That helps me get to hard to reach places, but the twirly bit helps me get between places. The toothbrush that I've added is an old toothbrush and I've cleaned it with a bit of soap powder and I will um, use that to get, again, to hard to reach places to reach all the fluff. Now, sometimes people use air cans. You can, if you know what you're doing. If you don't, stick with a toothbrush. The screwdriver has an assortment of um, heads. So I've got some cross heads and I've got some flat heads and they go neatly into this compartment. So this is really good. So you just pop that in and then I've got a longer extension to the screwdriver that I've been given. Now it looks huge, but when you're opening the back of a machine, sometimes the screws are quite deep, deeply embedded into the casing. What I also like to have handy is a pair of tweezers to reach, and these are the bendy kind, um, so I can reach in those hard to reach places. Sometimes you'll find some of the screws and bolts are quite hard to um, turn because they might have been just greased up too long, uh, too much and that grease is dried up. It might be so much dirt in there and dust in there. You need something powerful that will break down that grease so it's that dust, that dirt and that rust down so that you'll be able to turn it. So I usually do that the night before I work on a machine so it gives it a chance to really get in there and break break down the oils and dust even though it's discolored so it arrives brand new like that and then over time it discolors it's it's fine it will work so they are machine oils use machine oil to oil the parts so you need a rag this is from a cotton t-shirt that tore up We've also got some canvas here. Now the canvas is just to make sure it uh, catches all the oils. If you don't go crazy with the oil, some people do, you don't want floods in there. You just want to drop here and there and it's on the moving parts. And I just keep everything in a little pouch that I've made. So that I know is my toolkit and keep that safely somewhere handy the other thing that we'll find you might find handy is having a phone so this phone is here um, just to make sure I can take pictures so when you remove um, screws when you move bolts make sure that you take pictures if it's for the first time use it as a reference guide for the second time you do that but buy yourself some really good needles so I stick with Schmetz Prim. Prim used to supply Schmetz needles in their packaging. Um, not so much now, but their needles are good. And last of all, I suggest that you get some good lighting. I've invested in this wonderful daylight lamp here and it gives me LED lights all the way through. I can move it around, I can rotate it, I can spin the light. And of course, I do have the light on my phone. So that's the equipment we need for keeping our machines working perfectly as they did out of the box. I think we should do a video on servicing the sewing machine, so look out for that. Subscribe to Abby's Den. You will be notified as soon as I've made the video and it's ready for you to watch. In the meantime, comment below. Let me know what else you'd like to see. Take care.